Hey Legends, Blake here with another video and today is a video I'm really excited about. I uh, often get um, complimented on my videos from finding aquarium items at you know, Bunnings, Spotlight and other random stores and basically just thinking outside of the box on what we can use in our fish rooms. And not too long ago I did a video on Timu, which is an online marketplace which has got awesome discounts on a whole bunch of stuff. And I had questions from that video about the quality and having only ordered once before, you know, I wasn't really set to um, answer those. So basically I was looking for an excuse to reorder some more stuff. Now uh, it has been a while since I've done one of those um, sort of non-aquarium items in your fish room. So I thought what better match than to bring the two together. So today I've gone and um, got some stuff from Timu that we can use in our fish room that you wouldn't necessarily think are fish room items. So let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so I've got a big orange bag this time and looks like the posties had a good old fashioned sticky beak and sussed out what I've been ordering. But anyway, hopefully it's all still in there. The other cool thing about today's video is um, Timu have actually gone ahead and given us a whole bunch of offers to bring to you. So um, first of all, anyone that downloads the app using the link in the description below will get a free $100 coupon. As well as that, there's a code down there for 30% off and I'll link every item from my cart down below as well. And last but not least, they chose one of these items that I decided to purchase and they're giving you all 90% off, which is crazy. It ends up, um, taking something that was $20 and making it $2, or in America, I think it was $11 and making it $1, which is an absolute bargain. So stay tuned to find out what that is. Okay, so we've got quite a few things here. So I think let's start talking about them and why they could be great for your fish room. Okay, so the first item I picked up that I wanna show you is this. This is a portable USB juicer. Uh, I think it'd be great for making up rapashi and things like that. It's USB powered, so you can keep it out in your fish room as long as you've got a USB power source out there. And the other great thing I think this could be used for is blending up your unused pellets into a finer texture so that you can avoid paying for overpriced fry foods. Like I usually do here, I've got a little container here just with some leftover foods that I've powderized and this is what I feed to my fryer. So you could easily achieve a similar thing with this little juicer and I think it's always a good idea. It will get you in less trouble if you pick up fish room dedicated things. This one here was about $24 Australian, so 16, 17 US. The next one is a bit no frills but it's a great staple to have and that is a measuring jug here. Great for measuring out meds and things like that. Again, making up gel foods like Rapashi and Fuzzy Fox. And it's a really important to have a dedicated fish room jug because that way you can make sure that there's no chemicals on it. It hasn't been washed with detergent and things like that. And if you are gonna make up these smelly foods, you won't get in trouble from your significant other. So I uh, picked up this measuring jug for $2.48. It's like a dollar US, you know, bit of a no brainer. Next one is really great if you've got a set of really disgusting uh, canister filter pipes or you know implements like turkey bases and things like that which are getting a bit murky. And I picked up this uh, brush set here which are really great for cleaning pipes and things like that. This was $3.48 Australian so like $1.50 US and comes on a key ring so you won't lose any of them. You got brushes of all different sizes and it's just great for cleaning. You know, like if you have a feeding hole in the corner of your tank and it gets all disgusting with some food that's gotten a little bit wet and now stinks, stuff like this can really get into those nooks and crannies and um, again, just really save your nostrils from some of the worst smells in history. This next one I thought was really cool. It's uh, $2.50 Australian, so again, a dollar US. And um, basically it's a strainer that you can connect onto the edge of a pot. Uh, like people use it for straining spaghetti and things like that. It's got these little clips here. But what I was thinking is um, when I'm refilling my shrimp tanks up the top of the fish room there, it's really hard to pour specifically without messing all of the substrate up. So I thought if we get a bucket and we just clip this onto the edge, all of a sudden we've got a nice little spout here, which we can direct the water how we'd like to and sort of get it more um, planar across the top of the water rather than straight down and messing all of the substrate up. 
So again, for one dollar US or two dollars fifty Australian or so, uh, this is just you know a great one, especially if you're finding yourself on a weekly or more basis pouring directly from a bucket that lacks a spout. Now, most of us with fish rooms, we do like to collect little knickknacks and stuff like that. So I really like stuff that folds down. And especially, say if we've picked up our USB blender before and we've blended up some fry foods, but we've got our uh, container and we're trying to pour that powder food into that container. Well, well, for that purpose, I picked up these silicon spouts here, which is gonna make pouring into those sorts of containers an absolute breeze. And I just like it as well because it folds down really compact. They come in these bright colors so you won't lose them. And they're just so easy to put in a drawer or something like that. So even if you're playing around with different um, fertilizers and stuff like that and you wanna mix a few together, I do always find a funnel pretty handy to, to um, have on hand. So a pack of two funnels for again, $2 Australian, $1 US, that kind of range. And um, yeah, just, they seem really versatile. Again, super low investment for something that could potentially save your skin, or at least save you a bunch of time and effort. Next one, pretty much a very straightforward one. Again, I saw on the website that they had for $1.68, a pack of 200 brightly colored rubber bands. They've come in, they look like they're a nice quality, good thickness, and for $1.68 Australian, or like 70 US cents, you know, for 200 rubber bands, it's gonna make life really easy. Whether you're storing things away or bagging up fish, you know, we, I tend to use rubber bands all the time in the fish room. So something like that, if you're picking up your staples, why not add, you know, an extra dollar to the cart? Next one I saw was this pack of 10 paintbrushes for $1.78 Australian. So again, sort of that 70 US cents. And I find paintbrushes super handy, whether you're feeding powder food again, you just want a very small amount, you can dip a paintbrush in and just sort of tap it on the edge of the tank where you're keeping your fry, or it's great for live foods like microworms and things like that, where you don't want to get your fingers in there and touch all of that disgusting little uh, worms. So a paintbrush is like that, especially a dedicated one. You're going to make sure again, it's free from chemicals or any other contaminants, and it can be a dedicated microworm feeding paintbrush. Next item I saw again for $1.68 or 70 US cents is this, and this is five meters of double-sided Velcro. So you can see it just sort of sticks to itself. Great for organizing cables, and I know all of us have way too many heater cables, light cables, and all that stuff all over the place at the back of our aquariums. So from the get-go, you know, you can use this Velcro super easy. And even for airline tubing and stuff like that, I thought that this could be great. Get it up and out of the way or secured so that your air stone isn't gonna fall out of your aquarium. And you know, basically then you got no air stone in your tank and it might become oxygen depleted or whatever that is. So um, for a dollar, again, five meters of Velcro, and you know, I'm sure I'll find heaps of uses for that. And uh, even you can Velcro all of your aquascaping tools together and that way you won't lose them. Again, heaps and heaps of different reasons that Velcro is a great one to have in the fish room. After that, I actually saw this full sewing kit here for $10 Australian, $5 US, and it has 130 pieces. Now, in a recent video, I showed you how to set up the terror bases and if you're doing any wabi kusa and things like that, that's where something like this cotton thread is gonna be really, really awesome because eventually it's gonna degrade and disappear once your plants have attached to those surfaces. So if you're gonna attach Anubias and things like that, you know, you got all sorts of different colors to make it blend into the best of whatever you're trying to attach it to. And I figured why not buy the whole kit while we're there. So we've got a pair of scissors, we got some pins and things like that. I'm sure there's heaps of uses for those things, but realistically, cotton thread, you know, if all of these different colors for $10, and including some scissors and tweezers, which I'm sure we'll be able to use plenty. Uh, again, really nice convenient kit. I like that I can pack it away because what I tend to do beforehand is buy a roll of thread and um, use it once and then throw it in a drawer somewhere or throw it you know, uh, on my desk or whatever and lose it. So knowing I have a little kit ready to go that I can store in a place, um, you know, just 
again, makes everything more neat and tidy, I think. This next item here was $12.48, so $6 US or so. And what this is, is a whole bunch, I think about 12, uh, let's count them out, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 15. 15 stainless steel skewers. Now, why would we need stainless steel skewers? These are really great for if you're gonna feed zucchini or cucumber to your plecos. You can simply slide the vegetable onto the end and then place it like that. And I like these because they're nice and long. So if you have it basically like that on the edge of your aquarium, you'll pretty much be able to reach in and take them out. You won't have to go and get elbow deep fishing for uh, whatever implement you have previously attaching them to. So um, a pack of 15 skewers for $12. Again, I just thought was really great. I like again that there's a tube to pack them away so I won't lose them and makes it really nice and effortless to feed those um, cucumbers, zucchini, carrots, whatever it is to your shrimp, plecos and other bottom feeders. Next up, I saw these guys here for $5.28. Basically, you know, if you've got aquarium, you've got glass and these are window cleaners. So you've got a nice scrubby pad on one side to uh, work away that um, those hard calcium stains or bits of food and stuff that's splashed around. Then you've got a rubber squeegee so you can squeegee that off. Again, you've got some um, left, leftover food and stuff in the corner of your aquarium. So you take out your little brush, brush that off. And again, it's all nice and neat together. You can clip it away just like that and then hang it on your fish rack or whatever it is, just like that. And again, $5.28, so $2.50 Australia, uh, American. You get two of them and you know, it just seemed really nice and easy. If you are using Windex and things like that, absolutely be careful cleaning aquariums with that stuff. Just a spray bottle with water and one of these guys will do a great job. Previously in this video, we've mentioned Rapashi and Fuzzy Fox, which are gel foods. And I like to freeze them because I don't use them that often, but I like to have them there for when I choose to. So I picked up this really cool silicon um, sort of beehive hexagon uh, ice cube tray. And this is something that I would pour that food into. Uh, you can do all sorts of other t different types of foods though. Make your own uh, beef heart mixture for discus or whatever it is. I like that it has a nice silicon lid as well so you can buy more and stack them up if you choose to. Uh, if not, you're just not going to get that sort of freeze dried um, outside that the fish don't really like either. So uh, for making up gel foods, I picked these up. This was about $3.50 or $1.50 or so uh, in the US. And it's just, again, brightly colored, so I'm not gonna lose it. I think it's a good size for making up those kind of foods. And I like the lid as well. So I'm happy with this purchase also. Next up, if you are medicating fish or you've got your fish on a particular schedule or you're going away on holidays and you wanna leave notes for people, I grabbed a whole bunch of sticky notes here, a larger pad one, you might wanna put your full instructions on there. You might wanna put these smaller ones on to color code which food goes to which fish or whatever. And I've got this other one here, which you know you might just stick on the tank and put your dates of when you did a water change or whatever it is. Now these were also super cheap, so I figured why not. And they're all sticky notes, so they're all adhesive, which I like. So $3, $2 and $1 as you go largest to smallest, um, basically half that if you're in US dollars. And you know, just always handy to have these sorts of things around if you're really busy or prone to getting distracted. And it can even just remind you like, oh, I haven't done a water change on that tank in three weeks or so, it might be time um, to do so. The so sticky notes, great, great um, handy thing to have in the fish room or out. Next up, I got this stainless steel uh, spray bottle here. I'm just really sick of cheap spray bottles breaking all the time and having to replace them. I saw this one here, it seemed pretty cool. So um, spray bottle just like that, pump action at the top. This was $7.98, $4 US or so. Screw off the top and fill it up. Now these are gonna be great for wabikusas and immersed grown plants that you can mist them down. Make up your own little concoction. I recommend putting some peppermint oil in as a natural insect repellent. But 
you know, for eight dollars, I thought this is a really nice, sturdy spray bottle. Next up, I saw these little LED rechargeable lights here for eight dollars, and I just thought these are going to be really great for dark areas like inside a cabinet or maybe your sump where you don't necessarily need a light on 24 7 you don't need it on a timer something that you can easily stick on or stick off and it comes with a little adhesive magnet there so that you can stick it on i th just think this is going to be really versatile even for me if i'm filming the fish room or whatever and i just want a little bit of extra light i can bang stick it up above the aquarium there and then i've got a bit of extra light for filming so if you've got, you know, plecos that you need to see into the caves or whatever, I thought again for $8 or $4 US, something like this can be really, really versatile. Next thing I picked up is this little, basically an iron. This was $2.58 and it's used for resealing chip packets and things like that. So if you've got, you know, a bag of food that you're not going to use all of, you know, I just thought this could be really handy to sort of seal that back up and again two dollars fifty or roughly yeah a, a dollar and some change in us dollars something like this is a really great staple to have and can save you money in in food costs so there's been heaps of times where i've sort of got to the end of a bag and maybe overfed my fish because i couldn't be bothered saving it whereas now i might just go ahead and reseal that bag up and use it for another day Another great use for this is if you're selling aquatic plants, then it looks a lot more professional if you can put some oxygen in the bag and the plants and then just seal it shut rather than tying it with a rubber band. I wouldn't recommend doing it for fish with water in there just because there's likely to be a lot more pressure in there. But for plants, I think this could be a great one. Just zip it along the top, seal it all up, and you know that your buyer is going to be really happy with what they receive. This next item I picked up for $18. It's one of the more expensive items for today. Uh, so roughly $10 US. And what this is, is a magnetic strip for, um, for kitchens. People put their knives, you know, attach their knives to it, basically stick them up like this. <clears throat> the only thing I have that's metal right now is this scraper. So um, you can see that I've been doing some DIY um, home stuff. But anyway, I bought this knife block because I thought, how often do we lose our aquascaping tools? And it could be a really um, good one to have a dedicated spot to um, hang all of our aquascaping tools up, you know? So um, for basically $10 or $20, now it comes with all the screws and fixings so that I can screw this into one area in, in, in my fish rack. And then I can always know where my tools are gonna be. So yeah, really strong magnet. Uh, definitely held that scraper no problem at all. So I'm excited to properly store away my aquascaping tools using this. Next up, $1.68 was this pill box here. Again, great for pre-portioning out foods if you're going away on holidays and you're having someone help you out. Uh, other than that, it can be a good reminder for if you are putting meds. Like for example, you put tetracycline, you can put right on here, Monday the 1st of May. I don't know if that's a real date this year or not but monday the first of may and then seven days you can put tuesday the you know eighth of may or whatever and it can just be a good reminder of the days that you know you have to redose if you're feeding medicated food perhaps you could put however many days you want to feed it here and that's a, again a good reminder so that you're not feeding too little or too much and other than that it can be a really convenient way to walk around the fish room like if you've got four different sized foods, fill up these rows and just that way you don't have to keep going back, grabbing another food container and then um, swapping them over and so forth. You can put them all in here and then just pinch, pinch, pinch and you're feeding the whole fish room in one go. So uh, pill box, $1.68 or 75 uh, US cents or so. Yeah, really handy one once again. And for much the same reason, I picked up these four uh, longer LED bars that have a sensor option here. Uh, these guys were $7.98 Australian, so $3.50 American, and you know, pretty much the same thing, just for areas that I want to put it in the cabinet or put it near a sump and um, have it with the sensing option. That's why I picked up four of these lights as well. Next up, something that's absolutely invaluable in a fish room 
is a good old-fashioned razor scraper. So you've got the handle here and it comes with, um, I, I might have bought two or it might come as a set of two, can't really remember, but it comes with uh, plastic blades here, if it'll focus, orange for safety, and it also comes with razor blades here, uh, safely packaged away, wrapped up, so you're not gonna cut yourself. Um, but both of those are really great for if you want to get close to your silicon without actually um, taking it off the glass, then these orange ones are going to be great. Or if you're using acrylic, maybe you want to get some algae off an acrylic tank, then these plastic blades are going to be better. Or if you're doing a full reseal, or you've got some really stubborn green spot algae, then these metal ones are going to be great. But $3.48 or, or roughly $1.70 US, you get two handles and I think about 20 or 30 blades. Um, you, you know, you'll never ever find that you've got too many blades and scrapers <laughs> around a fish room, that's for sure. Okay, and last but not least, what is the deal that they're going to give you 90% off of for $1 US or $2 Australian? You can get yourself here the old uh, nicer dicer. I uh, don't know if you're allowed to call it that, but a multifunctional dicer and planer. Now these Obviously, this here is going to be great for chopping up those veggies that are going to feed to your fish. Like often, if we have a few plecos in a tank, we're not going to feed a whole heap of zucchini. So, you know, something like this can be really cool. Easily and quickly chop it up, store it away so that your partner knows that those are your fish room vegetables. And um, again, just, yeah, I think anything that takes a little bit of effort out of it is great for people like us. So um, quick look, it's even got zucchini there on the picture. We're gonna get the mandolin, maybe get some nice shavings off there. And the pleco is mainly like the inside of the, the um, vegetables anyway. So stuff like that's gonna be fantastic. So there you go guys, that was my second Timu haul. And I hope you enjoyed these video ideas of some objects that are not necessarily fish room related, but that you can definitely use in and around your aquariums. And be sure to check out the description below for all the details of any of these products that I just showed you. If it did help you out, it always helps me to smash like, hit subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And let me know down below if you've got some other objects that you use regularly in your fish room that maybe I haven't thought about. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the next one.